Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you some footage, also some rigging tips on catching nice redfish on cut bait. And in particularly, cut mullet is going to be my favorite bait to use for redfish, just because it's readily accessible. You know, you know, you're most likely going to be able to find it at your local tackle shop, whether it be fresh or frozen. Either way will work. I prefer fresh, so if you can go out there and cast net some mullet before you get to your spot. That will be the best bet, but you know, if you're in a rush, you're on a time crunch, and you don't feel like catching bait, stop at your local tackle shop, grab a pack of some frozen mullet. Ideally, you want them in that six to 10 inch range. That way you can get a couple chunks out of each one. You can use every piece of that mullet. Don't toss anything out. If anything, I'll cut off the very end section of the tail, toss it out but you'll see that uh, coming up here soon in the rigging part. But you can use the head, the middle section, and also if the mullet's big enough, you could use the tail section, but cut off the fan of the tail. That way, if you are fishing in current, you know that your bait isn't spinning around. Now, I personally like to keep it very simple as far as rigging goes. All I use is 20 to 30 pound monofilament leader material. You can use fluorocarbon as well if you wanted to, if the water is really clear, but 20 to 30 pound will get the job done and then you're going to want to use circle hooks. Make sure you match the size of your circle hook to the bait itself, not so much the fish you're going after, not so much the size of the fish because you can catch really big fish on small hooks, but you want to be able to use a hook that is going to be big enough for the bait that you're using. So usually I go with about a four aught to a five aught owner, a Moodoo light circle hook works really well. And if you need any of these items, keep in mind, we do sell them on our shop page at fishstrong.com. And if you are one of our insider members, you do get up to 20% off everything on the shop page. So be sure to take advantage of that. So let's go ahead and switch to the on the water footage. I have some tips to share with you as far as rigging goes when you're using cut mullet on the flats. Also positioning and location are going to be very important that I'm gonna to touch on as well. And you'll see a really nice redfish caught using this approach. So just to show what I've got set up here, I've got about three to four feet of 20 pound liter fluorocarbon. And then I've got a four aught actually a 5 aught circle hook and what I'm doing is just cutting the tail off of the mullet like so toss that in the water then I'm using about a two to two and a half inch chunk of the mullet cutting it in half just like that put the other half away and then when I'm hooking the mullet here you can see I don't have any weight. I'm just free lining it out there. Got my wind, or I've got the wind to my back rather, casting down. Gives me a nice long cast. And I'm going through the meat of the mullet. Now, either side really doesn't uh, really matter, but if you are fishing in current, highly recommend going through the narrow part just so that mullet is more streamlined when it's in the current. But I like to go through the meaty part just so the hook has more to hold on to. So in through the meat, out through the skin, and make sure there's no scales on there so you don't miss a hook set. So when you're fishing with cut bait, no matter what type of bait it is, if it's cut crab, cut ladyfish, cut mullet, there are two things that you really want to take into consideration. Number one, being that you want to be in a spot where you know there's fish at. If not, you're just going to be sitting there for a while and also probably catching bycatch such as catfish. So make sure you're in an area that you know fish are at. In this case, I was working this area with artificials and I was noticing a lot of fish spooking off, but they weren't going for the artificials. So I switched over to cut bait. And then number two is going to be positioning. You want to be positioned either up current or up wind from your target area. So my target area was the point of this little shoreline right here. As you can see, there was a point down there. That's where I saw the fish at. So what I wanted to do was position myself so that my bait was upwind or up current from that spot. That way the wind or the current is going to basically push that scent down to that point and it's gonna make a scent trail for those fish to follow. So they'll follow that trail up to the bait and key in on it. Again, make sure you are in a spot where there are fish. And number two, make sure you're positioned upwind or up current from where you found those fish.
So I often get asked why I use, you know, long rods on a kayak. You know, I use seven six to seven foot ten, sometimes eight foot rods, and that's a prime example right there. When you have a fish run underneath, and you have you have to have that clearance to run your rod around the front or the back of the kayak. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you need help catching more fish in less time, I highly recommend checking out our Salt Strong Insider Club where we guarantee you'll start catching more fish. We actually show you, you know, exactly where we're fishing. We have our community platform, over 20,000 Insider members on there that are more than willing to help you out. Also, you have pretty much direct access to us if you need help with a specific location or any type of fishing tips in general, we can help you out with that. So be sure to go to saltstrong.com and we'll see you there. If you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America because we actually guarantee that you'll catch more fish while saving time and also money on the tackle you need. We do this through premium education, our exclusive insider fishing community, and huge discounts on the best tackle for saltwater anglers. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, we hope to see you again soon.